Hello guys, welcome back. I hope this is the right time to create the video about baby AGI. It's kind of auto GPT, but I haven't created the video. But today, here we go. What is baby AGI? It is AI powered task management system. Just to say in a high level, here is the graph which they explain how it works. I will provide the link in the description, but I will not go through this now, but I will be going through the baby AGI UI, which it, they said here that it is designed to make easier to run and develop with baby AGI in the web app like a chat GPT. And they have also provided a link here. If you prefer going through this link, you can go through this. So it is similar to chat GPT. As you can see here, you can just provide the API key here. There is the dark mode and light mode, and you can choose different models here. The open AI GPT-4, GPT-3.5 Turbo, or DaVinci 003. And you can even say how many iterations because the more iterations you go, you need to actually pay also with the OpenAI API. So be sensible with that. And just with the first task, you can just give a task or here it says input your objective here, solve old hunger and something like that. You can go through this web UI, which is hosted by themselves. But I will show you in this video how you can actually do this locally. You can clone this repository and run it locally. Let's get it going. So before going and running the code, I just want to show you what is the stack they have been using, right? They are using Next.js, Pinecone for the vector storing, Langchain, of course, and then there is the Stalewind CSS and the Redix UI. So let's follow step by step. It's actually quite simple. In two, three minutes, we can create the web app locally. So first, we need to clone the repository. So you need to be in certain folders. I am here in my YT stuffs folder. What I can do here is just paste the thing that I just cloned from here. It will clone that repository. I, I need to go inside according to this, right? I need to go inside the baby AGI UI. And the next thing you need to do is install packages with NPM. You need to have node installed. Just to check that you can just type node-v. If it shows you, then you are good to go. Otherwise, you need to just download node for your particular machine. That's it. And also you can even check if you have the NPM because it comes along with the node. So if these, th these two things are there, then you are good to go. And what we need to do now is just NPM install as it is mentioned in the third line here. Yeah, it is going to install all the things. It says here, okay, or added 477 packages and audited 478 packages. Okay, we don't need to do anything here. What next? They have just said now we need to copy the .env. Okay, let's do that. Copy .env to .env. You can just run this command. And if you want to provide your API keys inside this .env, it's fine. But I'm not going to use Pinecone and other things. But just to show you what it is here, we can just type .env. Here you need to provide the API key and Pinecone if you want to store the embeddings into the Pinecone. And then next public table name, all the things, but we don't need to do anything here. For this, I can just quit out of the Veeam. And now we need to run it. So that's all. We can just type npm run and dev. After I run this, it will provide us the link to open locally. Yeah, it provided me the local host 3000 after I run the dev command. And yeah, here it is the same UI that we just went before. This is hosted in baby AGI UI app, But this is the one which is in local host 3000, which is the same clone, but now in locally, right? So first thing first, as I showed before, you need to have the API keys. For that, you need to go to this API keys of OpenAI. I will create new one here. By the way, I will revoke this after creating this video. Here I need to go to settings and I have already provided here, but let me provide again, save. I have my API key here. I can just choose OK 3.5 because this is the cheapest one. And instead of infinity, I will just go with the 10 iterations and you can now provide any task you want. But I will just for this demonstration purpose, go with the same thing that I have provided here. It says solve old hunger. And if I now send this, you can see that there is the objective solve old hunger task list is develop or task list next task is develop or task list and executing the task as i said you in their ui here there are different steps right it is actually performing those steps so yeah it will now go and do all the things for us we can just stare at it because it is doing all the things we don't need to do anything 
So yeah, I can keep it running, but as you get the idea how it will work. So quickly within five minutes or so, it doesn't even take five minutes, you can clone the repository and run baby AGI in the UI. Right? So as you can see here, task list, it creates the task list here, task result and task list. You can see there are 10 different things, new task. Now it is going to do the first task, right? Okay, now it did the first task here, as you can see here, and it is going through each and every step. I can now just stop because I don't want to run this. Yeah, just go around and play, give a certain task what you want, it will be doing automatically. So there are many automatic AI agents being created. And I think based on the UI, this seems to be really good to try. Yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.